I know I didn't do too great of a job of explaining yesterday's vlog. It's kind of out of context. I'm sure it's a little confusing, like why we were at an aquarium, why I'm with my parents, why am I not fishing? Why did the vlog not turn out so good? My answer to these questions, um, so basically, my parents and I decided to take some time off and spend some time together. And we're just kicking it, we're just chilling, we're having a great time. That's, that's what's going on right now. I'm going fishing. I just discovered there is a, an immaculate lake to my left full of largemouth, smallmouth, and even tiger muskie. And the only people that have access to it are the people that live on the lake and the people that are staying at Eagle Ridge Resort, which so happens to be the resort that I'm staying at. So without further ado, let's try to catch some fish. Well, I've made it out in the lake. This is the definition of winging it. I have no clue what I'm doing. Just showed up to the marina. They just gave me a boat. So being that this is a new lake and I've never fished here before, no, no joke, nothing about it. I didn't know it existed until this morning. Um, I kind of want to challenge myself and kind of incorporate something, uh, something kind of neat in today's video rather than just fishing the lake. So I'm going to give myself, this may not seem like super challenging, but I'm going to give myself three, let's do two and a half hours to put together a limit. I'm going to start the clock right now. Clock has started, two hours and 30 minutes to to figure out a pattern to put together a limit. So I've got, let's see, a frogging rod, a jig rod, a crankbait rod, a drop shot rod, and about this much tackle. This should be pretty interesting, folks. Let's see if I can, uh, see, see, see if I can scrap something together today. I already got one. Oh, that was quick. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Bang. First cast with the jig and I've already caught a fish. Let's see if she's over 12. I feel like this challenge is probably going to be a lot easier than I thought. Let's wet the bump board. Don't want to ruin her slime. Okay, Let's see if this puppy's over 12. Is she? Does she make it? That's the 12-inch mark. Oh, she's 13 inches. First fish today. This challenge is going pretty good, other than the fact that I just got rammed into a bush. See you, guy. Thanks so much. Okay, so that fish actually came on a little jig. This one is a, uh, it's like a hybrid grass swim jig kind of design. One of my good buddies actually makes this jig. It's a DP jig. It's good for fishing around grass, which I am today. There's a bunch of hydrilla and coontail and stuff like that down there. So that's kind of the technique that enabled me to catch that fish. I don't even know what to say. That's, that's pretty awesome. All right, spot number two. Uh, last time I checked the clock, it said I've got about two hours and 19 minutes left. Let's catch a toad. There's one. Got him. Oh, I don't think he's gonna be 12. He looks fat and stocky, son of a gun. Thought he was a freaking brim. So let's check it out, let's check it out, folks. I don't think so. Nah, he don't make it. Well, this guy ain't 12, literally a hair short, but I appreciate the catch nonetheless. See you, bub. Just cutting a little portion off that craw just to make it a little more condensed and compact. We should be good to go, folks. Hey, look how good that looks back there. This is heaven right here, man. There's one. That's 12. That's 12 for sure. I don't even need to put her on the bump. She's probably at 13. Off that jig, my first cast is laid on. I switched to a smaller trailer just because I was missing some bites. It looks like it uh, turned out to work. Ain't no piggy, but I'll take it. See you, man. Just one fish on the lay down, eh? That seems a little bit funky. Maybe there'd be more. There's a lot of real estate there. There's one. Yo. Ooh, that one came off the lay down. She might be 12. I don't know. Let's check her out. All right, let's see. Is she 12? Is she 12? Oh, yeah, she's 12. She's 13. Well, this is not becoming super challenging anymore. Um, kind of hoping to get a kicker, only because this isn't the world's biggest bag. If I were actually fishing a little event, a little derby. It was that same lay down, only this time I was like right there when I caught him. It's like one tap, it was like, and then my line just went slack and I cracked back in him. Okay, well, maybe I'll just fish right in front of me. Maybe they're not on the shallow stuff. There's another one. Got another one, man. You gotta be kidding me. 
They're just like right in front of the boat. It's funny because you'd think they'd be like on that. Like you'd think you'd be catching them here, but two of my bikes just came right there back to back. Man, she's probably 12, but we're not gonna count her. That would be number four regardless, or number five. I don't know, how did I lose track? I I'm, I'm a freaking goober. All right, see you, bud. There must be like some wood right down in front of me that they're relating to because uh, that's just kind of strange. Well, that's not a craw, I don't know why that's in there. Dude, another one. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This is like the end, endless laydown of fish. That's three fish in a row. They're straight munching on that jig. I don't even know what to say, that's freaking crazy. Uh, well, that's technically five fish over 12, I guess, for a whopping 5.5 pounds. That's still all right in my book, man. This is a pretty fish though, look at that's some good looking. Eh, she's not that pretty, but she's, she looks healthy. Her scales are all nice. All right, see you, bub. You get in the boat. Again, this one came off like not even a laydown, just like in the deep part in front of a laydown. Still about the same size. It's crazy though because I pull up to the marina and there's like easily five or seven, four to three pound bass just waiting to be fed with some minnows, which is kind of weird because this really isn't correlating with what I saw a few hours ago. So nice fish though, a little largey, boom. That might be a decent one. No, they don't want them little shorts. Oh, he's a little bit better, I suppose. Getting a little bit better there. That one came off the jig, about 10 feet from the bank in some deeper water. Quality fish, I'll take it. Uh, what kind of hooks do you guys need? Minnows and stuff like that? Yeah. No, no, you don't have to buy. I got some hooks. No, you guys are cool. Are you sure you don't want a couple bucks? No. Yeah, just catch some fish, guys. Oh gosh, thank you so much. Yeah, sure thing. Good luck. Good fishing, folks. Thank you. There's gotta be something under these canopies. They're just not sitting real tight to the bank today. I want to keep casting this way, even though I haven't got really much right on the bank, which is kind of weird. Little guy. Man, these fish are stunted. Little bass. Thank you. That one came off some rock instead of. I don't know, it's weird. Look how chunky the fish is. Probably just eating craws. There's one. You son of a gun. I'm sure you guys can probably hear this, but the boat next to me right now is just like freaking out over a, a bass that they just caught. That's the same boat that I gave the hooks to. Totally, totally worth it to hear that kind of enjoyment once you, you know, give a family hooks. I didn't have any hooks. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know, don't mean to be cheesy or sentimental here, but that's actually pretty sick. Hearing a family uh, freak out over a fish that they caught because they now have hooks. Simple little thing, like a hook. I think it's awesome. First cast with the frog. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, folks, this lake's a lot of fun. I mean, these fish uh, aren't del salto bass, but it's still fun to get out here and catch some fish. I'm gonna put this guy back. Hopefully catch some more on the frog. Let's clean that lens off though. It's looking like Perix camera right now. Whoa. 
That fish came up over the lay down to eat my jig. Freaking clobbered. What did he, sp oh man, he spit up a bunch of crawdad looking junk. Look how dark he is. A lot darker compared to the other ones I've been catching today. See you, man. Well, I think that about concludes today's bite, folks. It's time for me to roll. We gotta make it back to uh, northern Illinois, northern eastern, northeastern Illinois. And uh, I gotta get ready for another trip. Another trips, more trips. All right, let's head on out of here. It's like cool and sad at the same time because that's kind of the size I was looking for out in the main lake. And to think that they're right where I basically started is a little frustrating. Granted, you can't fish in the marina, but still, definitely gonna come back. This is this is a good fishery. It's got good grass, good rock, good depth. Well, if I had to give it a score of 10, probably get like an eight. Oh wow, they're still busting. Not gonna lie, folks, pretty good day today. I really didn't expect to catch much. To be truthful, I was just like, I don't know, I didn't know anything about this lake. It, it looked good, but I didn't I didn't know its potential. Filled out my goal. I know I didn't catch any giants, but still, it was an awesome day. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to say before I sign off. Oh, um, if you guys are interested in any of the tackle that I was using in today's video, or like how I was catching some of these fish, I'll leave kind of like a more in-depth synopsis in the description below and link all of the equipment that I was using today. Also, you guys may have noticed that I'm wearing this this pretty sweet shirt right here that says Guggen Squad. Myself and all the other Guggens are gonna be selling these shirts for like a limited time. I'm not sure what the window is, but they won't be around for long, so you guys should probably get them now. These next couple days, weeks, months are going to consist of just like some awesome, amazing footage content. I have so much going on right now. It's all really good stuff, and I can't wait to share some of that stuff with you guys here very shortly. I'm leaving for Ohio in a few days uh, this week, and I think I'm fishing with uh, Hector from Optic Gaming. Anyway, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate right now and I can't wait to bring you guys with me and share the experience. As always, keep fishing, never stop. Oh wow, that one's great.